Hello, welcome to Worldview Connections video, Philosophy of Religion, Part 1. I'm Isaac Matthews. I've been teaching for 10 years. I'm not an official expert or representative of any religion or organization. This isn't a college course. I love investigating and seeking truth, and I'm not promoting any religion or anti-religious group. I'm trying to avoid rhetoric of certainty in either way, truth claims. Motivated by the love of learning and communication. I realize these are social taboos, and sometimes asking questions is provoking. But looking at this, I think it's healthy to uh, learn uh, religious or political ideas, which I'll be discussing on this channel. Why discuss religion? We'll be looking at some of this through the different vari various videos I make. I value education. I value communication, learning about others, listening to other worldviews. I seek truth. And I think that's more important than having unconditional obedience to a religious group or uh, any kind of group for that matter. Religion deals with the great mysteries of life from birth to death. Do we need religion or God to have morality? Can we be good without religion? Or do we have innate moral compasses? You look at science and theology, religion and science, do we have to choose sides between them about life and the meaning of life? Of course, theology says God created it, everything that we see. You see, science has the science claims and the theories, and I have a great respect for all of these things. For example, looking at life and how it has evolved over the earth, you see the evidence in science uh, in various fields, biology, from physics to chemistry to biology. There are some mysteries, though. So what is faith? Online dictionary has some definitions here, as you can see. Do you agree with these definitions? Some do, some don't. But what is certainty? You hear people say, I know my religion is true. I know the Bible is God's word. How do I know God exists though? How do I know these claims are true? How do we know anything? But I do wanna avoid the pitfalls of infinite regress uh, I personally don't go into deep philosophical things. There are plenty of videos about that. I want to have a more uh, digestible, hopefully, to the average person. The epistemology, does it apply to everything? We'll look at that. For example, if your neighbor said they were abducted by aliens, would you want to see videos, pictures? What evidence would you want? Just their word? So looking at big claims of religion, do we know they're true? Is there one God? Is there many gods? Are there many gods? Is any religion really true from God? Can we know the answer to these questions by our feelings, through our thoughts, and subjective and objective reasoning as well? We'll look at sacred texts of the various religions and have a great respect for all the religions that I've studied. Uh, and I've read the Bhagavad Gita, I've read through the Bible, all of it, I've read through the Quran, and we'll look at some of these claims. We'll look at miracles. Uh, how do we define a miracle? Are they evidence of God? Are there evidence of miracles? Did they ever happen? Do they happen anymore? Why or why not? Um, do we look at religion in a way that we would anything else? Do we have a double standard? Do we research uh, religious affiliation like we would a surgeon, a mechanic, or our careers? Many people are religious, as you see in this pie chart. Let's look at the Pew Research one that I think is more accurate. Even though it is 2012, I think the data is still pretty good. Uh, but it's showing us that 80% of the world population identify with a major religion. America, uh, there's the unaffiliated. Uh, but even among those unaffiliated, 68% believe in a God or higher power. We'll look at some of these things. And the religious landscape in America, you can pause the screen and look at it, some fascinating data. And the religious landscape in the U.S., some of the topics I'd like to get into, but I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to discussing some of these ideas. Please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for listening. Please share my videos, and I hope to hear from you. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about everything. Some of the resources I've looked at, feel free to uh, let me know if you'd like this. I can email some of this uh, presentation to you. Thank you.